Today is the best day to get your friends to come back and try Lost Ark so they don't miss out on the Super Arc Pass. And don't you worry, we got some tips to get it and the Battle Pass knocked out as fast as possible. But not as hard as the Zerker Gang knocked me out with the wholesome love on the last video. It was the first time I tried something like that, and I'm really happy you all loved it. Almost as much as I love the patrons, thank you guys so much for keeping this train running. It actually means the world to me. And if you want a link to an epic love tragedy, it's going to be linked in the description below. So while you're down there, I'd appreciate the sub. And just remember, my name is Clystetics. And we're running right into it. And don't forget to like the video. It's the only way YouTube knows I exist. And lighting this off, we look at the bonuses for the Super Express Pass. And honestly, the first two tiers are really underwhelming. The third tier gives you that million silver, but that fourth tier is where you get the big juicer box, which is mandatory. You need to get this, and it is absolutely amazing. So if you're like me and just want to get all the rewards as fast as possible so you don't have to think about it anymore and you can just do everything else that you want to do other than worry about these little things, these little quests, these little missions. I don't do little missions. I just W key everything in my site. But it is the perfect thing to help your friends get back into the game if they couldn't take that tier one to T3 like waste grind that felt completely pointless for the first month of the game. And I know a ton of people felt the same way and that's why we saw such a spike in player base with these crazy events. So this is what I did with my friends and I think it's probably the best way to blast it out. We boost our Lance Masters or whatever alt we wanted to 960 with the Phaeton Pass, and then we slammed the Super Arc Pass into that character. Then we did all of Tier 3 together to get that 1 million silver, and then we blasted Tier 4 to get that big juicer box. Then we went into the Gates of Paradise. We'll find a way to wipe in here, don't worry about it. With like 2 to 3 1400 plus characters, and the rest also just absolutely destroyed the place. Like, we were killing the bosses before they even did some of their mechanics. Well, isn't that embarrassing? At least we, uh... Tore through it most of the time. We all actually had a ton of fun and just blasted it out super fast. I think the whole thing took like under an hour and we did two full runs with our mains and our alts. And we just had fun playing together, man. That's what it's all about. Play with your friends. The try hard stuff, it doesn't really make a difference in this game. Uh, it really means nothing. There's no hell mode on an AEU yet. So just play with your boys. Have a good time. It really doesn't matter. But one of the biggest thing was getting that extra called our fusion material. It helps you boost so fast. And honestly, you should get excited to do some of these old raids and carry your friends through them. The cards you get are actually really good, especially from like the tier one level one abyss raids. You can get Carmine from those. And the level two, you can get Delane Armin. So like Hildebrandt Palace, whatever. And they'll take like five minutes each if you just gear check them. And you don't really have to do anything. You just run up and one shot the bosses. So I've been doing them every week already, but it was a lot of fun to take some people through who just didn't really get to experience it before. So you should have honestly been doing this every week anyways, but if you need an excuse, now you got to do it for the boys. And it's also going to get them a full set of tier one and tier two class books if they do it on their super express character. After that, collect six guardian souls in each tier to max it out. But I honestly started with the raid level three stuff to get the million silver. And then I blasted out the raid level four stuff. But most people did the level four first because they just wanted that big boy box right away. And I wasn't in a big hurry to get it, but it is really just the best thing in the game to get. Like I said, it's all done in like three days with like zero effort if you have somebody carry you. And honestly, you can queue into most of this stuff and blast it out. Lance Master, Glavier, whatever you want to call it. Super strong character, and if you need a guide, it's going to be linked right there. It's the best Glavier guide on YouTube's. I'd say the best boss to queue into is Albert Hastic. You can just solo queue it. I had my boy carry me through it, but like people do this boss for gold all the time or help their friends. Even I queued on my 1340 alts because I think it's a better gold return than a Grexian is, and you tear him apart, and he can't even do any damage to you when you're 1340, really, unless he does the one shot moves. And before I forget, there's a bonus tab, so make sure you do all this stuff for like just extra free stuff, like the cubes and whatever. But one of the most important ones is the Chaos Gates, and you could just run over to the Chaos Gate, blast it out, and you just get a thousand Rift Shards, which is basically just a couple free map boys. And if you only have yourself or a duo you like to play with, you could do the maps together for the Arc Pass. I haven't done any of the maps yet because my group usually does it on like Wednesday nights and I know you're supposed to do it with four people for the mid max rewards but most people actually don't care that much and even solo their maps or just do it with one friend so if you're new or have friends I would definitely focus on those level three and four rewards they're going to be massive for anyone who needs resources to proc to t3 fast but now for the arc battle pass I bought the t2 not the super premium just the normal premium I'm not like a ponzi scheme executive but you know super premium things usually don't bode well with me and in this case I think the outfit is trash and even though you can dye it it's kind of weak to me I, I just don't really like it that much honestly I know a lot of people are like men they released the worst skins in the game multiple times in a row maybe they would make more money and you know maybe maybe they would make more money if they actually just release some of the good skins that are actually in the game you know that'd be good but the normal premium has some pretty good rewards it makes you feel pretty good when you buy it so if you're used to buying battle passes this is my personal recommendation that's what i did i know a lot of people are like do i want to spend money on lost art do i not want to spend money don't really look at the mastercard arena with all the whales like they don't really matter at the end of the day sure they might be progging faster but they really are just 
dead inside. So that's that's about that. So if you're new or returning, definitely pick up the premium battle pass. It's actually fire. I usually don't even recommend to buy anything from Amazon like ever, like ever, but eh, you know, this isn't that bad. So if you want to speed run, it's actually super easy. And I was pushing it to like level 20 before I was even thinking about it, just by randomly doing my daily stuff. And some stuff seems like it would take a while, but you can actually blast out really fast. The weird ones like repairing gear, if you pop the menu open and like RMB the items, you can repair them one at a time or whatever, or like LMB, whatever it is, you just repair them one at a time. So you only have to get like four repairs out of the way. You could do that in between like your two chaos dungeons and your two raids on your main and boom, you have your 20 repairs done and it's the same price. It doesn't matter. For counters, you just walk into the training room and you go to the counter option. It takes like seven resets, but it's literally zero effort and the easiest way possible. So if you were sweating it because you're like bad at counters, this is basically GG. I mean, even if you're good at counters, it really doesn't matter because like if you just want to get it knocked out, you just get it knocked out instantly. I don't like looking at these extra quests in my tab. I can't do it. And for the transports one, I wanted to get this done as fast as possible. So I went and looked at what the cheapest transports were and I went to Lutera and I used the ship to Tortoy 20 times back and forth. It was 550 silver a trip. So I did the quick math on a calculator and that was 11K total silver, which is like half a chaos dungeon. And I know a lot of you guys are silver broke from leaving at the boss at the chaos dungeons. But you know, if you stayed... Uh, to the end twice you'd have enough silver for that so stop leaving early it's not worth it but honestly if you're a zerker main you don't have time for your dailies you're too busy doing zerker things like w king bosses not worrying about whether or not the boss is even going to hit you honestly because you don't have to care about any of the mechanics so these tickets are a lifesaver and they let me blast that bad boy out in seconds every day and honestly i buy a pack of these tickets with gems every chance that i can every time i run out i buy more they make life easy they save me time so many people tell me they're so strapped for time on this game just buy the pack of daily tickets and bang the dailies out because most people don't even alt and they still feel time pressured so auto completing dailies in your main is the best way to save time in my opinion and when you look at my reputation tab i almost have like every good reputation done other than like small stat potions and all i did was go do the first quest and then auto complete them on my alts i blasted these out so easily and I have so much free time on the game. I spend less than two hours on Lost Ark every day just doing random nonsense. Honestly, running around in town in circles most of the time. Pick the tickets up, man. That's what I do. Your time's your most valuable resource in your entire life. No point in wasting them away on this. We got a little sidetrack talking about wasting time on dailies, but the transfer skill tree thing, I just had one of my alts with bad tripods, whatever. You could do it on your main too with just like a random piece of gear. All you do is slam tripods into it. Just in a couple of chaos dungeons, you can get that done like no problem. After that, the rest of the stuff, you kind of just get over time. It's all really easy and straightforward. I honestly don't think you should like do the pay to win thing with the gems. I don't see the point in that at all. I didn't even do one tier of it. It's just pointless to me. You'll have this pass done if you get all the quests done in like the second or the third week that it's out. And it's out for like two or three months or something, whatever it is. So I think you should seriously focus on what most people are sleeping on and how fun this game is with friends. The way the characters feel, just the immersion. If you find a character you really love, you're hard stuck in the game and you're just like me. You're just stuck in there. You can't stop playing. I'm addicted. I've been addicted to this game forever. Every character feels amazing. And as long as you ignore the people who wail, you can prog this game at whatever pace you want and really enjoy it. Because the only thing that should matter to you is your time and your friends.